bit of a bittersweet and sad day for me today. After nearly 200,000 miles, 15 years, I'm saying goodbye to my beloved Nissan Xterra. Yep, it was finally time. All the memories I have in this car. With the pandemic, my gigs have all but dried up. And while I generally don't subscribe to living in fear, air travel has always felt a bit like stepping into one giant petri dish, even before the pandemic. But I still have the itch to travel and to explore. And the past few months, being cooped up at home while relaxing at times has also tested me and my adventurous spirit. And to add to it, there have been numerous wildfires compromising the air quality. I always thought to myself, that as long as I'm not on location, I could pretty much work from anywhere out on the road. But I was also long overdue for reliable transportation. While having a car payment again really sucks, I just finally bit the bullet and told myself the peace of mind of having a car that wouldn't break down on me would be worth it. Enter everyone's favorite outdoor vehicle, the Subaru Outback. I know, I'm such a cliche. We're gonna have many adventures together. But criteria for the next car was similar to the Xterra. It needed to be off-road capable. Okay, here we go. Comfortably sleep me in the back, large enough to hold my film equipment, and be a hell of a lot more fuel efficient than my old ride. That Outback just checked all the boxes. Before I left, I added a cargo box for additional storage. Okay, thank you. Made sure I tested negative for COVID, and loaded up for at least a couple of weeks on the road. Okay, just finished loading up all the gear. We're ready to go. We're gonna hit the road for a few days at least, starting with <laughs> Flagstaff, and then on through Durango, and then Boulder, and Denver. So here we go. You ready, Baby Yoda? Good morning, everyone. It was an absolutely stunner of a morning here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I am off to meet up with Caleb Schiff, the owner, proprietor of Pizza Cleta. Have not met him or tried his restaurant yet. So today, we are going to meet up at the Eldon Trailhead to go up the Eldon Slabs. Taking Billy on the less known uh, route, which is called the Slabs. It is a very steep, <laughs> mostly non-runnable, unless you're maybe Jim Walmsley or Rob Carr, who do frequent this area. It's really pretty because you get to see all of town, so that'd be a great way to share Flagstaff in that way, kind of from up top. Yeah, Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB who we running with. Yeah. I'm on 10 again. Okay, all right. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with. Yeah. 2, 2, 3, 3. I'm on 10, 10, 10. Yeah. I definitely worked up an appetite. We're going to get cleaned up. And I can finally sample some of famous Pizza Cleta pizzas.
Thanks everyone in Flagstaff. Thanks to my friend Chris and Alicia Varga for the hospitality. Now off to Durango, Colorado to see my friend Maggie Hooterl. First time in Durango. This is nice. But he's looking like unconventional. Well, okay then. We are going to run to Chicago Basin, to Jupiter, 13er, and then, and then back. So it's like 33 miles. And there's only 12 hours of daylight left now. <laughs> are you going to miss us? We'll try not to be gone too long. There's some of the perks of working for town. Look at all this. Just trying to do bigger, consistent stuff instead of, you know, oh, uh, playing this big run. I don't know. I don't think there's like a formula for how you train for this. Headlight. Like Were you surprised that it started? <laughs> oh. So we're here at the trailhead. How are you feeling? Oh, great. I mean, this is just a casual yes. trot. And it's gonna be beautiful. Please so don't ditch me. I won't. <laughs> so we're going here. On Jupiter! I don't think you would have liked that. I also didn't go the right way. So, see that other with the little boulder on top? Yeah. I went over there. <laughs> the guy I was like delayed, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, it's that one? And I was like, this is sketchy. And I got on top, and I was like, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my god, no wonder. That one was sketchy. <sighs> Good job, Rockstar. <sighs> to Jupiter. Yeah. Now for the Jupiter. and back part. <laughs> <laughs> Aspen! 
24 miles down. Still have like maybe 10 more to go. Oh, longest run I've done in a while. But super great company. Looking great, Maggie. You're gonna crush bigs. Great. Good job. Thanks for the invite. Hope I didn't cramp your style too much. No, that was fun. That's, That's pretty. Aspen's are amazing. It is full on fall here. How are your legs? Oh, they're good. After yesterday's yeah. long I but fun I'm adventure. Stiff, but that's because I'm old. <laughs> We just saw what? Uh, social, the social dilemma. And what do we think? We have a dilemma. <laughs> Did you like it? Was it thought provoking? Were you like, yeah, it's hey. thought provoking. Like what we talked about, um, the dramatization was kind of distracting, but if you look past that, they're just like... The scripted actors. Yeah, the scripted actors. There's thought provoking like um, commentaries from people that work in the the tech industry. Yeah. And I have deleted my Facebook. You don't really delete it. I deleted the apps from my Facebook and Instagram. But I just not have it for a little bit. Yeah. Now me and Titus will get more attention. Yeah. As if you're not spoiled enough, buddy. And then everyone will be starved of Titus content. Thanks again for all your hospitality. You're welcome. And for dragging my ass up and down the run. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Bye guys. See ya. Bye. Thanks again for the hospitality. I'm really loving this. The fall colors are popping. Uh, it's a great time to be in Colorado right now and uh, driving around. I'm camping just outside, uh, a little bit outside of Telluride. And after arriving here, after Durango and leaving Maggie's place, I realized that I left my camera bag there. This brain's not working like it used to. Let's make camp. A little chicken noodle soup. Got some pigeon sauce, crackers, some veggies, some pickled carrots, and of course, beer. morning. I slept pretty decently. I got a couple times to pee. Otherwise, sometimes I sleep better in the back of my car than I do at home. I'm a little bummed that I left my camera bag back at Maggie's. So stupid. Do I go back like 90 miles to pick it up or do I just pick it up on my way back to LA for the next couple days? I'll be in Telluride and uh, we'll see where I go from there. I'm off to explore Telluride. Never really properly done it, save for a couple of moments at the Hard Rock 100. But that was really just passing through town. And I'm gonna get some coffee, get some work done, then uh, meet up with my friend Sarah. God, this is their place. <laughs> hey, buddy. Welcome back to Colorado. <laughs> How 
patio. Oh my God. This is our house. And my goal with it was to have it be like a rustic farmhouse. To have it very casual, like with no unused space. That's why we made our great room the TV room and stuff. Off to join Sarah on a group run that she meets up with. It's 30 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think I'm wearing the proper attire. It won't make do. Beautiful though, look at that. Finishing up the group run. I think I'm about to ride a horse. We call him Mellow Maverick. And your biggest issue today with him is he may be kind of pokey. Like, you'll, he's just slow. Okay. There, one, two, three, hop up. Okay. You got oh. it. There you go. Good boy, Maverick. There we go. Okay. It's been a great couple of days here in Telluride. Super beautiful. But alas, it's time to hit the road. I'm not here to get comfortable. I'm here to explore and see the sights of Colorado. So I'm not exactly sure what my next destination will be. I am eventually, I think, making my way towards Leadville. Anyway, all right, let's hit the road. Turn right. Um, can't really turn right here. Where's it telling me to go? Head south. Then turn left. All right. Let's see where this takes me. All right, where are we? Let's see if we can find some decent camping up here. Got a fire ring here. It's not too shabby. So there's my car back there. Got some nearby campers. It's a little tight, but still far enough to feel like you're alone. Just what I needed. Some quiet space to be able to do some work, to relax. I am happy. I am happy. Quick minute to talk about my setup here. I have a Cold Zero, this is a Boulder 50 solar panel, and that is connected directly to the Cold Zero Yeti 500X that is able to charge everything from my laptop, my camera batteries, and it allows me to pretty much work wherever I go. Right now, I you know, obviously don't have internet, but I can still get my laptop out to edit, and it basically gives me the flexibility to work from wherever, and right now I'm just outside of Gunnison, Colorado, on my road trip. It's a very peaceful spot, even though it's kind of windy right now. <laughs> But uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving the sunshine and uh, the trip is going pretty great right now. Work is done for the day. Haven't moved yet. Time to get some miles in. really well got a really good night of sleep nothing too fancy to show you I have this 20 degree rated 
sleeping bag. I have a pee bottle, which I won't show you, but comes in handy, especially when it's dark and it's cold and you don't really want to get out of bed. The seat is folded down. It is at an angle. I parked the car at an angle, so it'll be a little more level because the seat doesn't fold flat. It kind of folds a little bit at an angle. So to get to achieve perfect flatness, the car is probably parked, I don't know, like two degrees. I have the seat generally free to change and to sit up out here oh here's the cooler that I used to um, give a little more platform space this is um, a pair of floor mats that I don't use because I use the these guys that are good for getting dirt on and you can just flap them off and shake them out. So much preferred, especially with my running, to have those than carpet ones. And have these window coverings. I actually have for all the way around um, if I want to do more stealth urban camping, but you obviously you don't really need it when you're outdoors here. Okay, I think that's about the brief tour. Um, I need some coffee, so let's go and make some of that and get our day started. Mind if I film your dog? No, that's fine. <laughs> What's your name? That's Otis and I'm Tito. Tito? I'm Billy. Nice to meet you. Hey. <laughs> so you're a full-time nomad, huh? Yes, Whoa. I am, man. Been on the road for five years, man. Are you a bow hunter, too? Uh, yes. Traditional. Traditional bow hunting. I was in the army for four years. I was in Germany for two. One of them was in Afghanistan and the other one was training, obviously. Mm -hmm. like everybody yeah. <laughs> Man, that's such a rad dog. Well, initially I got hurt in Afghanistan. So I got medically discharged from the military. Mm -hmm. Right after that, um, I married a German. So I stayed in Germany for a few years. I think it was like six years total. Learned the language, all that good jazz. Then after that, uh, we got divorced, unfortunately. So I run into some videos on YouTube of people backpacking in Europe. I'm like, well, I was a soldier. I could definitely backpack. Yeah. So I might as well do it. So I decided to go on the road and I haven't stopped since. So I went from Europe to South America to back to the States and uh, now back in the States on the West Coast. Okay, we're leaving our camp spot temporarily. I'm going into the town of Gunnison with my new bud, Tito, and I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I think I will stay here another night. It's a very cool, peaceful spot. I'm digging it. I didn't really think about it, but yeah, pulled pork, got some biscuit. So this is called a recurve traditional bow. Okay, traditional. Uh, there's some people they do call instinctive uh, shooting, which is so it's a lot faster. You don't aim. Uh, you basically don't aim. So it's kind of like pull back, shoot, and that's instinctive. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I like to aim a little bit. So what I do is uh, I take a little bit of time to so get my odd feather up. Take my time, take my time, looking for a bullseye, looking for a bullseye. It's super windy outside right now, uncomfortably so. So, doing some work in the back seat of my car, eating some jelly beans that I bought in Durango. This is okay too. man you gotta drink cores in colorado right oh yeah <laughs> you gotta go a little banquet <laughs> 
Well, I guess my daughter's lucky because I was going to do that with her, too. You <laughs> make five tests. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <laughs> what was the last time you ran? Wow, like four or five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel so far? Amazing. I know we're only <laughs> like half great. a mile in, but... It feels great. Look at Otis go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is a see you later, not a goodbye. Yep. Good meeting you, man. Yeah, man, you too. All right, brother. Okay, here we go. This is fun, productive, but the show must go on. Let's see, man. Billy Simpson. How are you? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. There they are. So far it's been nice just going where the wind takes me, places I'm inspired to visit, people I want to meet. It's been a good trip so far. Okay, what do we think? I think I like it. Let's make camp. Across the way, we have the Collegiate Peaks. Let me show you. So yeah, all across the way. We have the 14ers. Not a bad spot, right? Okay. Here's what we're doing for dinner tonight. Nothing sexy. Painting the butt is I'm constantly shifting and moving things around because I have to move the solar panel around to uh, to adjust to the sunlight. But so far it's been good. No uh, real distractions outside of the collegiate peaks behind me, um, which is a, a nice view of uh, the mountains to inspire me and inspire my work. I haven't gone running yet, so I need to do that. Maybe for a short jog and then find a river to bathe in because I haven't showered in a few days. And uh, tonight I think I'm gonna stew camp food for real food and uh, vegetables more importantly. And uh, there's a great little place in town in Buena Vista that I remember from when I was here last uh, for the Trans Rocky stage race. And uh, I believe it's called House Rock Kitchen. So I'm eyeballing that from dinner and then, I don't know, I think I'm gonna continue on to perhaps Leadville and uh, find a place to camp near Twin Lakes and hopefully tag a 14er tomorrow. And that's the plan loosely as I kind of slowly make my way up towards the Boulder, Denver area. Okay. Left camp in the town of Buena Vista. I need to get a short run in. And I'm right here by the river trails, I believe. So we're gonna explore that a bit. And uh, clean up. It's the Arkansas River Trail, specifically. And then hopefully I'm gonna take a tip and uh, clean up in there and uh, head to there.
nearly 6 p.m. and it's cold, but I haven't showered in a couple days, so I'm dipping in to the Arkansas River. Here we go. All right, I tripped. Bang my knee. short of lip but I'm um, I'm happy to be clean and hungry ready to eat excited about that well at the risk of making this look a little blur witchy I am hopefully somewhere where I'm supposed to be in a dispersed camping area near Twin Lakes it's really dark out I went through some rough road to get here, just did the best I could. I'm pretty sure I saw either a mountain lion or a bobcat as I was pulling into my spot, so I'll take that as a good omen. Um, it's almost 9 o'clock, time to get settled in and uh, make camp. Here we are, view of Twin Lakes and some other campers. <clears throat> Not a bad way to wake up. Bit of a late start. It's already kind of windy out, so hopefully it won't be too bad at the summit. Let's go. Here we go. the Colorado Trail, it goes that way. Main massive trail, it goes up. Should be the right way. That is beautiful. Had a bit of a bonk. Time to clean up. Bonk is cold. Stopping by one of my favorite pizza places. Here we 
we are. Another morning. Uh, it's my second time car camping here. Just because I really like the spot. As you can see, the views are really nice. There's Hope Pass somewhere there. And it's free. I don't know what's going to happen today. I may go for a short run. But uh, I do have to do some work. I spent a little too much time yesterday on uh, Mount Massive. That's the plan for today. And then at some point, either today or tomorrow, I'm going to head up towards the Denver Boulder area. I am now in Boulder, on the outskirts of Boulder, high atop Boulder, um, over here at Justin and Amanda's new place. And thus begins my Boulder Odyssey. We'll see how long it lasts because the air quality here ain't that much better than Los Angeles. We problem when we moved in, but we're doing the kitchen. Mm. Is this technically Boulder? Yeah. Can I film your belly? <laughs> yeah. There's no getting around it anymore. It's obvious. Look at this crazy view. We get to wake up to every morning. I like your place, Justin. Thanks. We like it too. You happy here, Marley? Billy, will you buy a Charles bobblehead? <laughs> Don't make him bobble. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charles. This is the kind of dad. You're getting a glimpse into what kind of dad just shaking baby syndrome. Just treat his baby <laughs> like it's a toy. Shaking Charles syndrome. Hopefully she's a little bigger than Charles. Are you nervous? Him. I'd be. Want to give us a tour? Yeah. This is the van. You can come in. I'm just going to put the table up. This is where all the work happens. Look at Marley. We get it. Marley. Get Marley hangs out. Ready? So yeah, this is the back, uh, the station's back here, Some solar panels connect to that, runs all the electricity, propane tank, connects to the shower, shower, hot Ooh. or cold, shower out the back, it's got a 17 gallon tank in here that I emptied for winter, just so it doesn't freeze, this goes into a queen bed, so this is a part there, and then yeah. Oh, head, I see. Head to toe yeah. or toe to okay, head. Lengthwise, yeah. Just storage, yeah. Towels. Cooking equipment. These are nice blackout shades just for airflow. These pop open. That's where cooking, stove top, farmhouse sink. I guess we still got a little water. Drains into the tank down here. How involved were you in the design process? The layout mainly, but um, like the backsplash, the farmhouse sink, that was all Chip and Joanna and then Brett from Chewy Vans. And then this goes into, if you have company, this goes into a bed that's like a twin bed this way. Mm. So extra space for extra people. Got a stereo system back here, an AC up here. The fridge is still on back order, but the fridge will go in here. I like these lights too. Oh yeah, there. So, lights. It's nice. I mean, you can you can um can you stand straight up? Basically. Yeah. yeah. We we're gonna go do like an Aspen Leadville trip, but the smoke kind of canceled that. So it's been a little bit of a bummer with all the wildfires. Love it. All right, what do we have? We have fake brats, real brats, chicken, and the cheese is melting on the burgers. That's a fake one? Yep. That's a real one. Yep. Oh, I can't believe I'm in Boulder, Colorado, and I'm about to jump on a treadmill. That's how bad the air quality is right now. Look who it is. I'm Look who's joining me. Running and hiking. So we're starting off today here at the ski lift. What a considerable climb up to the ancient town of 
Coportalia. The way that that's written out in English is O P. Thinking of you, buddy. I'm not gonna use any of this in the video. Don't worry. <laughs> if you give me an idea, I'm super psyched about it. I've never been in a documentary. Anyway, it's not a documentary. But you guys broke up. Have some up here. We're gonna enjoy once we get to the top. Ooh, the roof is like two or three of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't Allie kind of remind you of Claire Gallagher a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Claire Gallagher. You have to Google this person. Okay, I'm kidding, I don't know who that is. Only the winner of the Western States 100. Oh. We're all around badass. And Leadville and CCC. Go, get your trap meeting saying, what? I thought we were going five more miles. <laughs> Hold on. I thought it was uh, the Salmon. The Salmon gal with long shorts. The That's uh, Courtney Dewalter. Dewalter won that. I'm Jerry Johnson, and when I'm not busy doing FTKs, I drink Arizona. Thanks, Arizona. It, it's uh, FTKs. FTKs. <laughs> Fuck the kids. I'm out here. Look at that elk. Went from sunny and windy to now snowy and windy. I mean, really, that's how quick it could change in Boulder. <laughs> One last shot of the baby bump. I think the next time I see you guys will probably Can you be... see it through my sweatshirt? Probably not. I'm getting a big outline. No, you definitely can't. I can't hide it. <laughs> Even the sweatshirts don't fit. Gotta get you a new wardrobe. Yeah. For the next three months. Thanks for the hospitality though. You guys were like really gracious hosts. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Go Lakers. Go Lakers. Yeah. Thanks for the mama. Thus begins a long trip back home. I'm leaving Boulder. I'm not exactly sure which way I'll be heading back. How are you feeling? Surprisingly well. Like, you look better than I do. The body is, uh, I don't know, it's a different level of, it's a lot more hours, but yeah. it's less intense, I guess. Long night? Yeah. Will be. <laughs> Long couple of nights? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, how's it going? We finally meet. Yes, we finally meet. I nice don't know to what to do. Yeah. Do we fist, fist bump? bump. Okay. Yeah. First 200 mile race? Yeah. Yeah. So are, yeah. You, are you hooked now? Do you have the bug? Oh, by like definitely. <laughs> by far. Make Candace happy. <laughs> yes, I like to hear that. The 200 mile mark is 23 hours of, or no, no. No, we did a 47 we did a hours and 43 minutes. 47 and 56 oh, okay. so in this race. So back to back hundreds under 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. Memories, friendship. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Good job, man. Thank you for being there. Congratulations. Good Every job, step of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Aren't you like supposed to be fast or something? <laughs> 210 miles ago, maybe a little bit. It's been a fun trip so far. I wish I could explore more and more, but I really have to get some work done. Everything from connecting with friends, past and old, meeting new people. It's all been great. And if you guys back at home, have the same freedom to be able to work wherever, work remote. Um, I suggest you try the same because it's been kind of awesome, but I do miss home. I'm not going to lie. While I did indeed miss the comforts of home, there is some apprehension about returning to life as I knew it. The current reality of our world can be a difficult pill to swallow at times. Since my return, we've had contentious elections, 
spikes in cases, and more people turning on each other on both social and traditional media. Every day feels like a battle between love and fear, between empathy and judgment. But no matter what, my faith in humanity remains unwavering. The road life is not always romantic, or for many, even sustainable. But for me, it's an essential tool to simplify, unplug, and remind yourself of all that is still good in the world. The beauty of our great country. Good and welcoming souls. A strong cup of coffee in the morning. And of course, pizza. <laughs>